up y'all welcome back to the channel for today's video i am gopro thugging it on today i'm gonna hopefully try and successfully install the Hone Developments Brake Booster Delete on my 8th Gen Civic. The Hone Developments Brake Booster Delete Kit is made for the EP3 RSX, and I think there's another one that shares similarities, but it's not specifically made for the 8th Gen Civic. So I'm gonna go and hopefully, hopefully install the 8th Gen Brake Booster Delete and we don't have no issues with hitting the firewall. We're gonna find out and you know, this is one of those things that maybe risk comes with reward. Side note, this is like one of my favorite shirts ever. I just love this shirt. Like the whole fading, it's fire. Just the, just a fire shirt. Here is the Home Development Brake Booster Delete. And here is the rod and bolts and nuts and all that fun stuff. Getting right into this thing, one of the things we have to do is remove our uh, pedal assembly stuff. We gotta remove the brake booster. So what I have to do right here is remove this little safety pin so I can remove the brake booster because the brake booster is gone. Brake booster delete, baby. Deletiotis. Nuts gotta come off right there, if you guys can see. Probably gotta up the ISO on here, but there's four nuts holding the uh, brake booster to the chassis. I will try my best to make this as instructional as possible, but if I fail to do that, just know that I love you and Jesus love you, okay? All right. So one of the things we have to make sure is that when we do put our brake booster delete in, we have to make sure it clears everything. So I went ahead and removed the 10 mil and unclipped it from the bracket to have this, my reservoir loose. Drain my reservoir uh, brake fluid into a funnel that I'm gonna discharge and probably somewhere else, I don't know, probably drink it. Then once we loosen up these two lines, we just gotta go inside the car, remove the four nuts that secures the brake booster to the chassis, well, to the firewall, and then we're gonna pull out the master cylinder and the brake booster together. Going back inside the car, we have to remove the brake pedal, bro. Like, yeah, dog. We have to drill a hole exactly one inch above this hole. That, I guess, is the six to one pedal ratio. But to remove the pedal, it's those four bolts I told you guys about. The, well, the four nuts, one, two, three, four. And then there's one up top, and that's literally it. This is why the eighth gen Civic is the best goddamn car ever made, bro. It's just the best car ever. They provide you with a template right here. So you don't have to do no measuring. You just literally bolt this up there and then you bolt this into your old one and then you just drill a hole for that. And it's that simple. So this is our rod right here. This right here is our template. Bolt into our old one. This hole right here is exactly one inch above this right here. So we just have to drill a hole for that. And then we have everything right here. What would you call these? What are these called again? Studs? But four of these go inside our home development thing like this. The short side go inside first, like so. And they also give you a cap to cap your RBC or RRC. And there you go. Now that that's capped, we can actually go ahead and pull this off. Uh, let's see if I can do it with one hand. Brake booster is removed. Have the old one over there. Our honed right here, along with everything we need. We have our rod and we have our gasket. Right. So shifting back focus to the brake pedal, we're gonna go ahead and use what they supplied us, which is our um, template to drill out what we need to. So put you guys down on a little, the little tripeasy. So as you can see, you can see how round it goes with it. So that that exact that lets you know exactly where you have to drill. And where we have to drill is right there. So what I'm actually probably gonna have to do is cut this bracket out a little bit so I can have access to drilling it. There's a cat, but you just have to drum out a little piece like I did, and then look at that. We have access to drill and 
bolt in our clevis. Not too difficult. If I can do it, I know damn sure y'all can do it. <laughs> so I drilled it out to a 5 16th, which is recommended. Uh, it equates to an eight millimeter drill bit. So that's all you wanna do, get that thing nice and neat and pretty. And now we gotta do is take the clevis off the master right there. And then we're gonna attach that to our new rod that we received from Home Developments. Now, Home Development states that you should source out a Honda Fit GD or Jazz if you, you know, across the pond, master cylinder. Now, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, I'm gonna stop myself right there. Uh, yeah, you actually 1000% have to run the Fit slash Jazz GD Fit master cylinder. Okay, okay. Home developments do supply you with the Vibratite uh, thread locker, so make sure you put that on all the uh, smaller uh, studs. All right, all right. So this is how you, this is how yours should be looking by now. You got your clevis in there. You got your pin. You got the little clevis locking nut, and then you have your rod. Now, unfortunately, when when Hone tells you to use a GD Master, you have to because my TLS Master already has the push rod okay it is the next day and i have my new brake master cylinder and it comes with the reservoir this was 135 dollars, and this is from the gd uh honda fits which is the 0708 us model fits so owned recommended it and that's why because as you guys see it does not have the push rod already installed well, I ran into my first issue. Well, I guess second issue. Um, I tried to put on my bleeder screws, valves, things, my jigs into this port, but that's way too small. Yeah, you see that? All I gotta really do is get these in a different size and I should be money. Hopefully JB might have this. I gotta hit up JB tune and see if JB got this. If he has that, I'll be good to go. But I'm actually gonna test fit this uh, master cylinder. I don't know if this is gonna fit, bro. So on my way to find out. Yeah, we're good. Once that bolts up in there, we should be money. Look at that. Luckily for me, the homie JB is coming clutch. He has what I need um, so I can uh, mount up the uh, brake lines. But however, I did run into an issue on this. I contacted Home Developments and told them already, but unfortunately for the eighth gen, if you want to run the brake with delete, you have to shave your pedal. And what I mean by that is, I'm gonna have a demonstration on the screen of what I had to do in order to make the push rod, not the push rod, is it a push rod? The push rod fit, um, just make it fit honestly because it was not working at all you got to shave a bit down so it can give it the clearance to swivel up not swivel but rotate up in order to get the four bolts on the pedal on dude it's it's a lot bro it, it, it's a lot it's gonna be a bit noisy uh sorry for the lack of uh quality of the content right now but i had to shave the pedal down in order for the four mounting holes could actually mount to the firewall from the uh, Home Development's brake booster itself. Well, the 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 booster delete itself, dude. It, it's been a it, it was another. You got to remove the spring for the pedal. Then you got, dude. It's a lot, dude. It barely clears. Like in order for me to remove my cap, I have to like kind of ninja it to get it out. But uh, it works. The brake booster is cleared. Everything is good. I just got to get my fittings from JB Tune, like I stated and then bleed, and then we should be money. All right, pump it up. Uh, you wanna put something in the cover? So we're driving the car, and does it work? Hit the brakes, the car is braking. We're good, baby. <laughs> Too soon. So we're back home with it and I ran into my issue where this thing is a little bit like the, it's too many threads and what's happening is it's engaging the brakes already. So what I'm gonna have to do now is cut like a couple threads off, thread this back in and then I should be money bag yo. So yeah, this is a lot bro. Like let me show you guys the pedal now. 
you have to, I don't know if you guys can see it up there, right here, you have to grind this pedal like somewhat flat so the clevis can have more, um, whatchamacallit, like uh, rotation stability, I guess that's what you would say. But uh, yeah, you have to like, dude, it's a lot, bro. Like you can, it, you have to trim out the, the pedal bracket like that so you have um, access to the uh, pin and then dude <laughs> it's a lot you gotta do to make this work so if you want to have that mechanical brake feel then this kit is 100 percent good and ready to roll for you. you just have to do some fun stuff like making things work and i'm actually having fun with this man this is actually really cool i'm really stoked that honed um you know gave me the task to do some guinea pig work and uh yeah i'm uh, the fit master fits and clears on eighth gen civics um this clevis i will have to tell them like if they can get, make this like maybe quarter of an inch shorter i'm gonna measure this out and figure out how much they should remove and then if they do offer the eighth gen kit then they gotta make this where it's shorter so then you don't have the issue why i'm having but that's why we do r and d i am a genius so i got it to work so look how much play i have now and then the gauge is like right there. So from there I have like, this should be like maybe an inch of free play. Maybe, I don't know. But all I know is I have enough thread now if I still wanna go, oh, I'm maxed out, whoa. I can keep shaving this down if I want to, but dude, we're good. So let me show you how much I actually cut off of the push rod. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's it's literally like three threads. I cut off three threads and that gave me what I needed. Now I could cut off more depending on how the car drives, which I should drive around the block to find out. With this, these three threads cut, we should be uh, good. Okay, so we're driving old girl, and then come to a stop, hit the brakes. So that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. The car drives phenomenal. Like I stated, if you want the mechanical brake feel of your 8th gen, whether you do road course racing, spirited driving, or whomever or whatever, Hone Developments, link down below. Go give them some love. If you have a 90s Honda, if you have a Miata, dude, just check out Home Developments. Huge thank you to them for allowing me to be the guinea pig in testing for the Brake Wizard Elite for h -Gen. So hopefully to do some little revisions and then they can just release it on out to all of the fellow h -Gen homies. The reason why you would want to run the Home Develop, the reason why you would want to run a Brake Booster is for pedal slash brake modulation. Modulating your brakes is, it can make you really fast around the track. You're not so dependent on the brake booster doing its job to where like you want to brake but not brake hard. You wouldn't have that worry with the brake booster because you are in control of your brakes. However you want to apply the pressure, that's gonna uh, indicate how fast or slow your car breaks. So it's up to you if that's what you want. That's what I want. I loved it in the Integra and I'm glad to have it into the new track build that we have going on. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Fit video releases next video. So stay tuned for that. We got some things knocked out on the fit. Can't wait to show y'all. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be sure to catch you guys in the next one. Link down below to Zashim MG. Link down below to Home Developments. And link down below to my Patreon. Thank y'all for watching. I'm out.
Peace.